Pandora events and Girls in Wonderland can touch women all over the world without coming to Florida. An example of an online program that hundreds of women can participate in is Making Babies on May 23rd. So this is important for some seasoned, for, well, not for seasoned women, for anybody who wants anybody. to, wh whoever wants to think about starting a family yep. now or in the future, right, Allison? And you've been doing this for how many years now? Absolutely. You know, what, what, ha what, what happens in the 22 years is uh, Jesse and Amy and I created our own families and started having children. And lots of people ca started asking us, how did you create your family? How did you adopt your son? How did you have children? And so we started around five years ago, started doing uh, workshops in, port in person. Uh, and we have great experts like uh, Liz Schwartz, one of the leading LGBT lawyers in the country, speaking. Um, we talk about fertility. We talk about sperm. We talk about financial planning, all kinds of stuff in creating your family. Uh, and then COVID hit. And so we started doing it online, and which has been so fun doing it online. We've kept it online. Is now that we're now we get to talk to women and uh, just LGBT people in our community that want to grow their families all over the country. So yeah, we have 100, like 200 people every uh, every couple of months we do this program. Uh, it's always something new and always something different. So if you're thinking about growing your family or creating your family, uh, whatever that might look like for you, please join. It's free, it's fun, it's about an hour and a half uh, workshop and uh, there's always so much to learn. I love that. Danny, you told, you told us that you were newly engaged or recently engaged. Any plans on making babies? Yeah, come I've on. been trying for years. <laughs> my God, I've been trying to make babies with my wife for years, and it just doesn't happen. I don't know. It just doesn't take for some reason. You, know, you don't know what's going on there. <laughs> we, it, it's on the discussion, Allison. We may need to have a talk with you at some point, but we're we're nailing down the the wedding first, and yeah. then that's you know, then take like some time, enjoy, travel, and then we we're gonna loop back around. But also I'm the older one between the two of us. So we gotta like, you know, have a framework in mind. So we'll be chatting with you, Allison. All right, good. Can game. you imagine Danny on stage with the belly? Let's go ladies! <laughs> <laughs> like, I can totally see it. Jessica, any plans in the future for little babies? Um, I think that myself and my wife are going to adopt. Um, that's the route that we want to go. Yes, so we both have my my youngest brother is adopted, and we both, you know, have been. We have a lot of experience with the system, so yeah, that's what we want to do. So, but I love I love what Allison does, and I think it's so incredibly it's really needed and sort of bringing together like all of the resources. It's so important because it's kind of a minefield out there. Like it's you hear different things from different experts, and it's a lot. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, and there's a bunch of false information out there, you know, and people are afraid to start their families because they think that it's going to be revoked or that, you know, another law is going to be passed that will allow us to. And so you go to this Making Babies workshop and you learn the legalities and you learn the rights that you truly do have. You know, that LGBT or not, we can be a mom if we want to be. Absolutely. It really comes down to, again, just the vocalization and communication of women and how important it is. Because even down, just down to, uh, you know, I've learned from friends who have had uh, babies lately that the what someone undergoes when they're going through IVF, what that looks like for actual pregnancy, even all the after like birth stuff that no one really talks about because women have been told for so long to be silenced and not really talk about their problems and what they're going through. But now women are starting to talk about what pregnancy is actually like, what birthing is actually like and what follows. And people like Allison that are opening the window for more communication are so needed because you're right, people are going in blind and have no idea what to expect. And that sets everyone up, up for failure, or at least, you know, did not as much advantage as someone else might have. But. Well, and you're all beautiful. You should make beautiful babies and adopt beautiful <laughs> babies. And keep on trying to make them on your own, though. Never stop trying. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. One, one of these days. We work very hard at that. <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.